Greetings, fellow outsiders, and welcome back to Sally Face. Today we start our adventure again in the sewers with a glitter pony that looks slightly terrifying with our friend Sal, otherwise known as Sally Face. I'm excited, so let's play. Okay, we are in the sewers. We just got chomped up by a uh, killer toilet, if I remember from the last episode. We can climb up. This is just a different level of the sewers, though, it looks like. So what is this? Switch? Maybe I should look around more first. What? You don't want to just click any switch you come across? You're not reckless in that way? I suppose in the sewers, though, if we if we click the wrong switch, we could theoretically get drowned, considering we're in tunnels. Another switch. Hmm, maybe I should look around more first? Why? You don't have a rebellious bone in your body, Sal? Is the uh, preference to call them Sal or Sally Face? Or is it just both? Hmm, maybe I should look around more first. <laughs> I've looked everywhere, and by everywhere, I mean a very small space in these sewers. Let's, uh, talk to the pony! You're there, please. Help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty! Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please? Hurry. <sighs> Okay, we have to help the glitter pony. It looks like it's both thirsty and starving because it looks emaciated. Maybe it can somehow absorb nutrients. Okay, so now I have to do the switches. Okay, I just got ahead of myself. I always get ahead of myself in these games. Do I have to do all three? Weren't there three on three different levels? Okay, I've done two. Is there a face in there? No, I don't think so. I suppose there could be. There's been a lot of nightmare scenarios in the game so far. I think there's one more on this level that I have to switch. And it's done. It worked! Should I give Sally Face a distinct voice? Other than my own. Oh, and the ladder's gone. And it's nice, clear blue water! How beautiful. <laughs> the eye is still over there on the left. Okay, let's go say hello to the glitter pony. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Well, I suppose that did something. I feel really bad. Oh my god, it's little butt cheeks. Okay. There's still the toilet over there. Can I go over to the right? I cannot. Yay, I'm back! Woohoo! What am I looking at? So we're living out basically what Larry saw. Oh my god. Can I do anything about this? No? We're just leaving? The footprints go that way, but we backtrack because we always do! Even though most of the time there's nothing. Where is it gonna lead? Oh. Into nothingness. Into an existential crisis. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Don't unzip your face. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. I, that's what I told you not to do. They had one fang. Hey, we kind of got a glimpse of Sal's face. Not really. Episode two, The Wretched. Oh, okay, so this is episode two. Okay, so there is going to be a, a um, screen every time we start a new episode. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think in this building there's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts, but... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Where are we going, Larry? Best friend. What? Go outside. Ooh. Oh my god, we're so cute! <laughs> Look at how cute Sal is. With his earphones, or not earphones, um, earmuffs. 
It's pretty. Whoa! How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Aww. <laughs> Treehouse. Awesome. Let's go, Larry. Oh my god, Larry, this is a huge step for our friendship. This is so cool! I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he, uh, um, disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappear? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No, no, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? Well, if all of his stuff is still here, my guess is that something happened to him. Like, why would he just pick up and leave? I don't think it's that easy to just go without your driver's license or anything. Nah, my parents loved each other. They were labor fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not! The day before he disappeared, I did something that I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few in the back and ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible though, that poor bunny. Anyways, I was coming down in the elevator and that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and he touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was effed after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen too. I missed so much, dude. I mean, <laughs> I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? Listen, I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens to you. That's true. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was nothing like I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, and it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part, these deep red eyes that pierced right through you. We saw that in the first episode in Larry's kitchen. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too, I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try and find out more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Eh, uh, sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Let's do it, Larry! Ghost hunting with Larry! Our best friend. Nothing useful in here. Um, okay. Picture? Ah, huh, that's strange. Oh no, the gear boy. What is that? What is what? Oh. I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found a box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Why don't we use the Gear Boy? Yeah, use the Gear Boy. Wait, no, wait. Use the Gear Boy! My Gear Boy with some weird game I found in the basement. Gear Boy! It's not letting me use it. All right, well, it's not for lack of trying. Talk. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Chest. Ah, is that fishing wire, nature life, rock and roll tickets? 
bunch of nature and or outdoor oh that was <laughs> it's not fishing wire that was the interact button a bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines seems like larry's dad is the opposite of my dad the magazines are all old from six years ago or more it doesn't look like anything too useful though let's see what else is in here Worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice uh, way to bond. I don't even think I've watched a concert or TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Of course we're taking it because the gear boy. What's in the box? What's in? What's in the box? <laughs> I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box? I never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Thank you, Larry. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Okay, let's open the chest again. Got that weird box from here? Doesn't seem to be anything else of note. Oh, okay. I don't see anything else we can do. It's getting pretty cold. We should head inside now. Ready when you are. Let's go! And we're back outside. Mm, there's no signal out here. Oh, <laughs> do I accidentally clicked shift. I guess we still have the walkie-talkies. This is a beautiful environment. The barren uh, scenery of winter. Okay, so we can go inside. Can we talk to Larry at all? No. What's that noise? Oh my god, the new painting on the right-hand side. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. All right, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks, Sally. You're welcome, Larry. Best friend. Did you ever uh, tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Of course I do! Hold on, let me get into this. I gotta get stable first. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. How do people do that and not get a headache? Can't even hear the music anymore. Okay, now that we've headbanged and given ourselves headaches, uh, let's maybe talk to Larry. Is your mom okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we still headbanging? Yeah, she'll be alright. Change of seasons always gets her. It's just back hold, she'll be fine. Okay, I'll be back, Larry. Hasta la vista, Sally. Oh, oh my god, wait, we have a picture! We have a selfie with Larry! We have a selfie with Larry up on the mirror now. That's so cool. And then this picture is new. I wonder if it's gonna be important at all, because the other pictures seem to be important, or at least were important in the flashback scenes that we had from the first thing. All right, let's go out. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Oh, Megan, from the upstairs apartment. That's a good idea. Lisa's room? Oh, we can go in Lisa's room. God, the music's still playing. <laughs> Talk. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hiya, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Oh my god, her eye bags. I feel so bad. <laughs> Which is good, because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. <laughs> I'm sure that listening to, uh... <laughs> This very loud screamo music is helping you recover just nicely. Oh, oh my god, now they have a framed picture of us three up on the wall. Oh, Larry, Sally, and Lisa. I love it. That's so cute. So this kitchen was where we saw the demon before. I'm gonna check the bathroom because I want to see everything. I want to find all the secrets in this game. All right, time to leave. Why are there suddenly cameras up? I don't remember cameras being here before. The vending machine. Looks like the machine is empty. Um, okay, Chug. What voice? Um, yeah, so is my tummy. Chug, what are you up to? Uh, hi, Sally Face. I'm gonna give him like a nasally voice, I think. Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack eye to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Bye, Chug. 
laundry. Really, who keeps leaving their clothes in here? Um, anything in biohazard or lost and found? Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Okay, then let's be on our way. We have to go up to floor five, I think, but I kind of want to check the other floor since we're in a whole new episode. And th there seems to be a time jump because Larry and I are now best friends. We're besties. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right, come in then. The door is open. Oh, this is a new character. Ooh. Oh, hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I'm actually a boy, but I wanted to ask a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it, time? Sitting here alone, the mind can drift. A great deal. Wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear. Sally, do you have something to ask? How long have you lived here? Have you ever seen any ghost in the building? How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to the dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their minds around. Trust me when I say I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie, I've been rambling on again. <laughs> what was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when Addison moved here uh, from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this line has belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell it to the Addison since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share with the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Um, about the Addisons? We get to know more about them. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terence is the last of his family. Well, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves his godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave his own dream of opening a tea house in order to, gave up his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely he began confining himself to the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts on forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come, damaged by a life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you ever seen any ghost in the building? Ghosts? Why in heaven, heaven would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sadly, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor and enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death, death and its many secrets. I know. Yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why could you say we are all ghosts already, really? Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate... Uh, casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. All right, well, now that you've given me a fear of the unknown, let's say goodbye. All right, so we got some more information about the apartment complex, at least, in the Addisons. It's interesting, though. A curse seems likely. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bo bothered her again. Oh, what happened the first time you bothered her? And why are there security cameras all over the place? Was it because of the murder in the first episode? How may I help you, Sal? Uh, what's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Oh, um, yeah, I guess uh, we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join me in on the meetings in the future, if you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety. With all of the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. Hey, that makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. 
Uh, have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. <laughs> the last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy when Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, um, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew. Oh my goodness, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye, Addison. Good day. Addison probably thinks there's a curse, too, considering all of his... The security camera scared me. All of his uh, family's gone. I don't think anyone lives here in 104. Sally face! Oh. <laughs> Larry face. <laughs> Did that on accident. That's cute. 4-0 something? Was that uh, Mrs. Sanderson's apartment? Can't leave the apartment. Okay, now we're going up to two. Floor two, to be exact. Two or two. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Todd's place. Okay. Not? Is this the one that we heard weird noises coming out of in the first episode? I wonder. Two or three. The people that lived here moved out after what happened to Charlie. Oh, okay. And two or four. Why can I just go in here? Oh, was two. Wait, what? Oh, was this Charlie's apartment? Was it Charlie's? Sally face. Sally face. Let's go into the bathroom. Man, that smell. <laughs> Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Can't blame you, Sal. Don't worry about it. Let's leave. And go to floor three now, because we looked at all these apartments. Floor toi. Or tres. Uh, okay, 302, David's place. Oh, hey, Sal. Uh, what you up to today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghost of my past keep me awake at night all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Um, what about, like, spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, you just gotta lay off the drugs, man. <laughs> Trust me, you'll never have a better life for it. Don't make some of the mistakes that I did. Uh, what happened? <laughs> what happened to your pants, David? Oh, well, they were in the wash. Sarah, the spouse, supposed to, Sarah was supposed to go get in. Um, but we did, we just talked about that, you know, lost track of town. <laughs> All right, bye. See you. Can I go get David's pants for him? Is that something? They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. College students. Okay. College students are in 301. Okay, so we're getting a lot more information about who lives in this apartment this episode. Uh, Chuck is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. And no one's home in 304. Okay. Then let's go up to floor four before going up to floor five, I guess. Floor four is our floor. So maybe we can see our dad and maybe we can also see the crime scene. I'm more interested. There we go. 403. The nightmare room. 404. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. Oh, and the camera's gone on this floor. How interesting. One floor it probably should be on, considering the crime scene. Okay, we have 402, but I'm gonna knock on this one first. Must not be home Robert's place. Okay, so Robert lives next door to us. Let's go into 402. TV is on. <laughs> With Gizmo watching. What you watching, buddy? Wow. Some crime TV shows. Gizmo's watching some violent TV, it seems like. Edward Shovel Hands. Twin Parks. Vampire Hunter, she lives. And... Oh, uh, that's the SF. That's the band that they listen to. <laughs> Gizmo's TV is as loud as Larry's music. Oh, Dad. Hello. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now. Uh, oh, I wanted to give him a New Jersey accent. Can't talk. Can't talk right now, Sal. I've got to make this deadline for work. It's going to be bad. Listen, I know the accent is going to be bad, but I'm going to try and make it happen. The only way we get better is by practicing. All right, time to finally go up to floor five. This floor is currently being renovated. Whatever you say. Oh, we can go into these now. 502, creepy, a bird cage. 
with blood. Weird. I don't like that. And there's 504. I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. Then I'll have to believe that Addison apartments are haunted. <laughs> Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. Yay! So this is what you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just, come on. <laughs> Walks immediately away. I just want to see if there's anything new. So the bedroom, it's boarded shut, is interesting because that's closed up, but that's where we saw in the video game Megan's mother, right? And father. <sighs> Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up to here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Okay, I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm gonna prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm here for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, now who should talk to? Todd. He's probably like the smartest kid, and he's also in this supernatural stuff like you are. But he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Hmm, I never experienced that. Uh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal, rational. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure my mom's all right. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Bye, Larry. I love you. What? I didn't say anything. I love Larry. He's so nice. Sally face. Sally face. Larry face. <laughs> Hey, Chug. Oh, have you seen ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Ever seen a demon with red eyes? What? Heck no, are you trying to give me nightmares? Maybe. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye, Chug. Love you too. <laughs> uh, let's go in 202, right? Was where Todd was? Uh, hey, Sally Face. Oh, hi, Todd. And who is this? Um, sorry. Uh, sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up. <laughs> that is not his voice. <laughs> that is not his voice. <laughs> sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. <gasps> ah! We're in love. <laughs> you must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, uh, me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, or, uh, uh, you too. I mean, um, nice to meet you too as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem, we can talk more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend, boys. Oh, we got a little crush. We've got a little crush, I think. You too! Play cool. <laughs> You're alright, Sal. You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. I'm fine. What? Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math though, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. And she sounds really pretty. I mean, she is really pretty. I mean... What? Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley though, so what's up? Oh! Right. Uh... <laughs> I see dead. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's it's something else. The building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Oh, I see. 
Um, I need your help or do you believe in ghosts? Uh, do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomena firsthand, I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty that I believe in ghosts. Though, I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I need your help. Please. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may have some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that the apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does. There seems to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though. That's all their speculation on my part. Do you have a Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yes, I do. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. Oh, this cool bathroom. I don't know why I said that. It looks like every other bathroom. What do you usually call do to call upon Megan? Does the girl boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We are not going to hurt you and we're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. I have an idea, let me say that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, I'll need something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack. Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. All right, we have a mission. Uh, let's start searching. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this is such a colorful apartment. I like it. Todd's parents' room? Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Sounds good. We can go into Todd's room. Bob? I like your fish. That's Bob. It's okay. My parents insist that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. Bob seems cool. Don't poop on Bob. And he has aliens posters. <gasps> He's a fan. <laughs> Let's talk to him one more time before we go down. Uh, will this work for the reception? Will this- oh, I don't have anything yet, so I can't present it to him. Larry! You have an antenna! Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. It didn't pop up with a... with a thing, though. And we can't use the police scanner anymore, then. Um, it didn't have, like, a interact button, so I guess I have to click around to see... what, uh, where I can get the battery from. Uh, will this work for the reception? We have antenna. Oh, wait, can I use the- does the walkie-talkie have a battery? Or am I supposed to find one in the environment? Yes, the will- this- yes, this will work perfectly. Um, okay, let's try that. Walkie-talkie. Ooh, ha 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 ha! Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. With the two components you retrieved in my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications for Gear Boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Thank you, nerd. I say lovingly and not in a derogatory way. Okay, all set. Behold the Super Gear Boy! Ah! Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode when the staged cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope it's all right. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. We can never say Sally face and Larry face again. Wonderful. Now for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow, and if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Let's go. Whenever you're ready, hold up the gear boy by pressing shift. Ah, we got it here now. R. Did I not do that correctly? Hmm, maybe I... Toilet ghost. It worked! Holy crap! No. Scary crap. Ghost crap. Holy poop! No. 
That's the same thing. You get what I'm trying to say. Hey, hello, what's the matter? I never thought I'd kill them. I, that's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her dog. Oh god. I was a fool to fall for a married woman. Oh, is this from the Megan story? It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen the demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't scare- <gasps> The demon was in the mirror. The demon was in the mirror. Todd, did you see that? That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents of the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to go search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and make sure it's okay. Well, we know that the ghost is in the mirror. Can I use it? No. It's not letting me. I don't think I can use it. Todd modified the gear boy to detect supernatural hotspots. Can I still play it? Am I supposed to? In Seeking Providence. <laughs> Super gear boy with tape. Chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was de uh, destiny. Oh, it's the guy! What is this? A car? A buggy? Oh my god, that scared me. It's another buggy! What time place are we in in this one? Can I go around? I can't go past this tree. Okay, I think I have to go in. Enter. Who are you? You scare me. I'm going this way. Listen? Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Enter? Where am I going? All these rooms all look the same. Enter? All these rooms all look the same. So am I doing this wrong? Is that what you're telling me? I decided to start again because I wanted to talk to this. Sorry, members only. Okay. <laughs> I missed that dialogue because I was scared of him. And his cool mustache. <gasps> Brute force works again! Hello. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard you crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. It's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family a year ago in a big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer. <laughs> Just a humble farmer. That's glad to be helpful. Can I spoke like you? The pleasure's all mine. Ah, I got a star! Okay, so I wonder if, like, chapter one might be Megan's story? Maybe we can use the gear boy again up there. I suppose we'll find out. Okay, I'm out of the bathroom. Wait. It just, like, took me out of the bathroom. Hey, Larry, I'm back. Check out the super gear boy! Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah. He needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Hopefully it will help us find more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed! Alright, bye, Larry. I love you. Hasta la vista, Sally. Even though I also love, uh, what was her name? 
the crush that Sally has. <gasps> it's working! That's intense. What the? Whoa, six? Six? Oh, is that the chapter? Can I play this now? Oh, okay, so that's how you do it. You have to unlock the thing first. Okay, so maybe then I'll go back up and try, try again. Chapter six. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Why are we gonna, this is so cool. If I touch these spikes, am I going to die? What is this? Oh no! Am I supposed to collect these and not get caught? I can, we can do it! We can do it. I believe in us! Are these candles or spikes? <laughs> We're doing a little boogie. What happens if I get caught by one? I don't want to intentionally get caught by one though, because I'm actually doing pretty good. I say. And then get caught by one. And then get caught again. All right, I'm going over to the right side. How many did I have to find? Did it even tell me? I don't know. <laughs> I like the little boogie they do. It's like they're dancing to the music in their little cult, cute cult robes. No! If you weren't dancing so vigorously and freely, then maybe you wouldn't get caught by the spikes and or candles and or something else. I don't know, it's very pixelated graphics. There's nothing! I went all this way for nothing! All right, I figured out the key. It's to just boogie. <laughs> okay, I found one. Does it save my progress? I sure hope it does. <laughs> Road work ahead. Ugh, I sure hope it does. Oh, it does. Okay, because there's two skulls there. Perfect. Sometimes she just decides to move so quickly. Like move like double, like that. Like I don't think I'm clicking anymore. But she's just like, I feel like boogieing. I'm on ice skates and I'm out of control. Stop! That did not warrant that reaction, I apologize. Stop, oh my God, the amount of times I've died <laughs> is actually starting to get embarrassing embarrassing. Don't look. How did a piece of my robe get caught one time and it murdered me, but that didn't kill me? Okay, I'm making it further this time. We're just taking it slow, because you never know what this robed maniac is gonna do. Oh my god, the last skull! I'm assuming this is the last skull. It has to be. I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Oh no! Purple Eye Demon! Oh, that's it? So did the cultists just get sacrificed? So all of the other ones were things that really happened, so that really happened then. Is that the lady that had the affair? Because it said she, I think, initially. Okay, I'm back in 504. And I'm assuming it's not gonna be out here. I'm assuming it's gonna be in the bathroom and maybe the bedroom if we ever get in there. But I'm checking just in case. Megan? Oh, Megan. Is Megan not here? Huh. Okay. What about in this room? Another, like, si sigil thing? Oh, I have to <laughs> bring the gear boy up. I forgot to trigger it. Okay, let's play a game. Which one was this? Chapter... Nothing? Did that not unlock a chapter for me? Oh, there's something here. Room 501? That didn't look good. What did you see? 
What am I collecting? Some of them don't lead to, like they don't light up the gear boy, but they're just around. Okay, I'm also in Charlie's old place. I'm gonna see, up. Oh. oops. Hello? Charlie, are you with us even though you're in jail? That was a green one. Um, what? Oh, I got an achievement, devour. What does that mean? Is there gonna be another one anywhere else? Oh, Ms. Rosenberg has some secrets. Oh my, what was that horrific device you have? It's a, uh, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Are you alive? <laughs> Ms. Rosenberg. <laughs> Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been okay in a very long time. I meant, yes, I know, Sally. I'm not gonna drop dead on you, not today at least. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's play the gear boy now. <laughs> Start. Chapter one is unlocked. Okay. She desperately sought a place among the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the Book of Forgotten Truths. Oh, is this the- this looks kind of like- I can't even keep up with the characters anymore. I think I need to watch a, um, <laughs> a lore video. Or maybe complete all the chapters, and once I cl complete all the chapters, if I find all the chapters, it'll tell us more. Do, 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 do. This actually feels a little bit better than the one with the robes, but maybe that's... <gasps> I spoke too soon. Okay, take it nice and slow. Nice and easy. <gasps> Stop scaring me! They move too quick. You move too quick for someone with a million spikes around you. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Take a book. I retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not meet show see will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so we got another chapter. That's good. Oh, wait, I just remembered in the treehouse, the gear boy lit up near the picture. Maybe we can use it now that it's like super powered. Let me try that. Okay, we're going back outside. I'm still gonna have this out actually. So cute, Sally's so cute. Um, I'm gonna have this out just in case it starts at lighting up and we get any ghost events. All right, no ghost events. Let's go in the treehouse. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Whoa, Sal. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. Something a new T the Sal Ever Airy Larry? Any live lived will and I don't know. You're breaking up, I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Must remember, see, fed y'all. <laughs> you something to remember the red ball. You have to remember the red ball. Something. What do you mean, what are you? I have to go now. See bridge as Something, don't forget, the red ball. Something, something, something to die? What? Two. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts and then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Yeah, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got in this position. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again to see if he found anything. Okay. Um, can we look at it? Is this gonna be any different? No? But the gear boy's lighting up. Which means it's time to play it. In Seeking Providence Chapter 2. Okay, so we're actually doing pretty good. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, Jim's eye- Jim? 
If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. This is Jim? Oh, he's got the mustache. Why are there lasers? Are we in a spaceship? Is this aliens? Enter. What are you? I don't know. Stop! No, Jim, please. We must protect your mustache at all costs. Stop! Button is pressed. Okay, so that one is moved. So what do I do? Just go back over here. Stop! Is the button continued to be pressed? Okay, I've made it. Enter. Okay, different levels. Let's go up first. Is this a dead end? No. What are these symbols? There's like symbols on the ground. The other one looked kind of like a window. Okay, let's go to the right. Down. Okay, we unlocked that. Now we need to find a way to get up there. It's like a danger maze. It's a maze in danger! The faster Jim goes, the more he blinks. I find that funny. See, he's not blinking a lot now, but then when I start walking, he's like, oh my god, I'm going so fast, there's so much wind in my eyes, I need to blink more. What is this? This looks like aliens. Interesting, okay, so that one was all about Jim. Not the lady and Megan and the guy on the toilet. Let's leave. Sally said we needed to talk to Todd next. So I'm gonna talk to Leary first actually though and see if he has anything to say. And then we'll go talk to Todd after that. Larry. Oh, nothing. Hasta la vista, Sally. Okay, so we can't talk to Larry about it. So let's just go talk to Todd then. Hey, Todd's on his computer. That's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only thing that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him on the public record. That does not look like Charlie. What the? That gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day that Mr. Mrs. Sanderson was killed, not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7. Lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be our little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles from here, along with her parents. Says that they have been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something? That's Megan. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. So... Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with a gear boy, perhaps find that necklace and it'll help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something I had a connection with when she was alive. I just need to remember where the heck I saw that th thing. I think I saw it in the, um lost and found because in the first episode it was kind of sticking out it was like on the top of it <laughs> kind of obviously sitting there yep there it is i know i saw that necklace somewhere now larry we'll see megan for sure let's do it <laughs> all right work your magic whenever you're ready let's do it megan are you with us this is my friend larry we have some questions to ask you Hey! Hi, Sally Face. Holy F Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have to forgive him. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean my mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Because he was having an affair. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't al always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight when he was sad, and the sadness turned into angriness. So, is he the demon? Do you remember your last days? I don't know, it's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? 
Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, and I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. Well, I'm so sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think this is she? Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Should we be scared right now? Should. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get in that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. I have a feeling we're gonna have to trade pants for a crowbar because I think David was the guy who didn't have pants. But first, we have a new chapter of the Gear Boy. Chapitre 5, Sank. Uh, playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Is this Megan or someone else? I'm going left first, or should I go right first? Does it matter? Can't interact with that big tree. Hmm, okay, let's go left first, because I'm always one to backtrack. We can go up. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Oh, okay. Where have you been, child? You have me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness of this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Hmm. Okay, so not much in terms of, like, dialogue, but that was... Seems like Megan's... A little bit more of Megan's backstory. I'm bothering Todd again. What are you up to now? I'm doing some more research and reaching out to other paranormal enthusiasts online. If there's some kind of malicious presence in the building, there has to be a way to deal with it. Todd, I think you and I need to hang out more often. It's cool of you to help me out with this stuff. Anytime, Sal. Alright, goodbye, Todd. Oh, there's a new dialogue op option about Addison Tea. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you'll do really well. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. You know, I don't often talk about this, but it was once my dream to open up such a thing. Oh, yeah, Miss Rosenberg told us about that. Though, once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison Apartments. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own aspirations? Yes, I suppose he would have, though it's much too late for that now. I couldn't possibly abandon this place. You could always sell it to someone who would take good care of it and then use that money to start your business. Well, come take a gander at our own little entrepreneur in the house. You're a true inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with the life I have here. I get to keep Father's dream going and also make my tea for the tenants. It's sort of the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, I suppose. Hey, Terrence. No one has called me that in a long time. I'd almost forgotten my own name for a moment. I just want you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid, to hide away from the world. And if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Thank you, Sal. You're a good person. A true friend. Aww, that was so nice. Aww. I like the people in this apartment so far. I mean, not all, I guess. Some of them are kind of scary. David's place. Here we go. This is what I needed. What's up, brother? Uh, can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's only ten holding up my shelf right now. See, those kids uh, next door in 301, they're nice kids and all, but they have a real loud party sometimes. Shake the whole wall and the f uh, shelf falls right down. If you could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, and I could let you borrow my crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm, I ain't clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party group, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See you. Well, I could get you some pants. I know where the pants are. <laughs> college students. Hello, fellow college students. Hey, Sierra. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternative activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. 
It's okay if I look over your list? Sure. <laughs> D&D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, or debate. Sounds fun. How about this? Eh, we usually just do D&D &D on Thursdays, so I sort of want to do something different tonight. Hey, can I see that list again? Oh, we get to choose. Oh, something quiet. A uh, chess tournament. How about this? Now, it's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Yay! Okay, so they'll be quiet tonight. Hopefully. We can leave, or we can talk to CJ. Hey, CJ. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Uh... This one's pretty chill. I think it's gonna be the other one. This one's pretty chill too. <laughs> okay, a lot of noises in this one. This one's not bad. No, that one's like rock. Not bad. I think this one has gotta be it. How about this? Uh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy, I think it could work. Yay, I'm tricking you guys into being quieter neighbors. Hey, Azaria. Hey Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Musical chairs. Oh, charades would be good because they have to be quiet, right? Duck, duck, moose, dodgeball, telephone, ping pong. All of those are loud. It's got to be charades. How about this game? That was my first choice as well. Maybe I should just stick with my gut on this one. Yay! You guys can be quiet now and I can go into your bathroom. Oh, I suppose I should also use the gear boy around here since the bathrooms in this apartment tend to be haunted. Okay. <laughs> Ignore me walking around with my ghost hunting device. It does not concern you. So that should be good, right? Let's talk again. What's up, brother? I made it quieter. Sees ya. But I made it quieter. David? David, I need your crowbar. Oh, telephone! Telephone would be quieter, right? How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. A touch of nostalgia could be just what the party needs. Thanks, Sal. Sal is moving on their own. Is this on purpose? I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Perfect! Okay, that's how you know you did it. Okay. So let's go talk to David again. What's up, brother? David! David. Sees you. Oh! <laughs> Even though it wasn't highlighted, you still click it again. I worked it out with the college students. They're going to have a much uh, more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sir, I'll be so happy to. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I- Oh, I'm glad I could help. All right, let me grab the crowbar for yours one second. Thank you. Thanks, David. Here you go, buddy, take care. I really appreciate it. Thanks, you too. Okay, so we can get into, I think there were like two places we could get into with this. Ooh, so let's try and get into maybe the crime scene one more time. Because if we get into the crime scene, maybe we can use the ghost thing in that one. Let's try it. 403. The crowbar I got from David, I need I need to use it. Use it. Guess I could use the crowbar to break in. Maybe I could find something important inside. Yes. Yes, because we need to find all the secrets. Alright. Perfect. Breaking into the crime scene once again. But this time we have a super gear boy. Oops. Oh. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson. Who are you? Oh my god, she's talking through her neck. My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces like walking from a dream. Uh, do you know what happened to my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Movers came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. You must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is treacherous. I wish we could never had moved to this place. Then he would have never met them and Charlie would never... Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Miss Sanderson. Go, hide. Goodbye, Sal. Oh, not her memories, the demon. Achievement unseen. But I got a gear boy thing out of it. 
Anything else? Okay, let's open this up. So I'm assuming the demon can't hurt us because the demon keeps coming after these ghosts, but we're fine when it does those things. All right, chapter eight. And then we only have two more left. Can we find them all in this chapter? After learning what Herman was involved with, Miss Sanderson reached out to a friend for help. They would meet up later that night. Have a nice day at work. Promise me you'll stay out of trouble, honestly. Of course. I love you, babe. Love you too. I have to go gather some evidence first if anyone's going to believe this. What? Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh God, oh God, oh God! I was not careful. I was anything but. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Why is this so difficult? Just keep swimming. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Why is this so scary? Stop! Just run. Ah! I have to go back. Stop. Stop! Just go. Just go. Just go. Not you, Sandy. The demons. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. This is the strategy. This is the strategy. This is the strategy. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. <gasps> I did it. Leave. Hey, this isn't a good time to talk. Can you come back later? Charlie, what the hell is going on to you? Charlie's a demon. Oh, so Charlie, like, technically didn't do it. According to that. But Charlie did. But Charlie didn't. Interesting. Okay, so the other place is the bedroom, which is a little bit scary. <laughs> okay, so funny story. <laughs> Pause the recording for a second to make sure that I had enough space. Since this has been a very long episode and I forgot to hit play again before entering this room, but luckily I didn't miss too much. What happened here, rather than playing through the entire chapter again, because there's an autosave system, um, basically the um, Megan's mother showed up on this bed. If I can find a screenshot of it, I will. And she was like, she didn't say anything. And Sally was like, are you okay? And she was like, <gasps> and then went away. So that's what happened with the ghost gear boy. It also unlocked a chapter, but I have not completed the chapter yet. So we're gonna play the chapter now. When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I needed to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Okay. You guys didn't see me struggling with this. But you have to cut all the power lines without getting caught, and you have to do it on each floor, so this does not save your progress. <laughs> so I've already played through it quite a bit. The reason why uh, it's not complete is because it took me a very long time even just to get C, and then it starts you at floor 5. Oh, and I... wow. <laughs> I don't have a lucky streak with the Gear Boy games this episode. No, stop, 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 please! I'm begging for mercy! Ah! Oh my god, finally. Basement? Oh my god, there's a basement floor! Examine? I can't take that now. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Rosenberg? Good, and I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. And I pray to God this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Not waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Mmm. So there seems to be a lot of cult happenings. How do I get the last chapter? Did I miss something along the way? Um... God, I'm really disappointed I didn't get... I wasn't recording with the bed thing. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Enter through the creepy hole. Point of no return. Yes. I mean, it auto saves anyway. 
can't go back. Did we just enter a parallel universe? <gasps> uh, hello? Oh my god, it just entered me into it. Chapter 7, the last chapter. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oops! Oh my god, he moves so fast. Oh, this is going to be the hardest chapter, isn't it? What is this? A praying woman? So, is Luke being controlled by the entity or whatever? The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. Is that why he did these things? Is it was kind of like, um, what's his face? Oh my God, I hate that creepy smile. Um, like Charlie. Enter. Walk with me into the undying flame and our power shall be endless. Oh my God, that's me. You built a statue of me? Okay, I got distracted by my own beauty. <laughs> Walk into the flame? Can I do anything else? Literally anything else. Literally any- Okay, we have to do it. In Seeking Providence. Oh my god! Luke, can you hear me? Luke. That's not Luke, that's not Luke, that's not Luke! Run! Sally, F Sally, Sally! Am I in the gear, boy? What's going on? <gasps> what the heck just happened? Ty gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically you could overload, overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison's apartment had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to took care of it. take care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he just... Larry... Oh, I want to give Larry a hug, too. Larry. That's sad. I still don't think the dad just straight up left, though. I think that's unlikely. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. The look, you say. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial is in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective, the evidence against you for what you did. Well, it's profound. I know how it sounds, but I've told you the truth. No, Sally. <laughs> Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. So what did we do? Is it in relation to the cult? What an effing cycle, eh? The doctor believes us, doesn't he? How can someone with a mustache like that not believe us? There he goes. Is that the doctor? Whoa, they're all abandoned now. Completely. Oh, I'm playing as the doctor! Okay. <laughs> I like the tie animation. Whoa, it's like... Like, completely abandoned. What happened to all the residents? Climb. Is there anything new? Boxes? Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Oh. Boxes? 
They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Can't leave. Shelves. Rusty tools and other various junk. There's that picture. Floor. A few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. Guess I just need to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole scene thing seems off. Larry! Larry, no! Dr. Anon. Best friend! <laughs> what? 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 Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is so much deeper than we thought, please. You have to get Sal here. The, this, you, you, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then. Shit. Larry! And the doctor. And the doctor! Oh, that's gruesome. Poor guy. He was just trying to do- be a nice. Conjure. Achievement unlocked. What am I looking at right now? Is it the demon's eyeball or something? What are you showing me? Oh, young Sally face. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. Something about a red ball. Oh, the red ball. Um, but you must not speak of this place to others. Do not be afraid. You are something here. You are safe here, Sal. Ooh. The only one who believed you is dead now. What should I do? Run? No, not run. Read? Huh? R r r run? Run? R oh, there was an exclamation point. <gasps> okay, okay! Which way am I running? Which way am I running? Which way am I running? Oh! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. There used to be a door here? Did I do the wrong thing? Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story that you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Are you implying that little Sally... Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me, too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest-polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? That's baloney. <laughs> I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is just a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Faux news is the name of the thing. Episode three, the baloney incident. All right.
Well, that does it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, be sure to leave a like down in the video and let me know down in the comments. Next time we will see what is going up with Mr. Doodle. <laughs> but on that note, I'm gonna say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I will see you in the next episode of Sally Face. Bye-bye.